What's up guys? It's February 13th. It's about uh, 38 degrees out and it's the only nice day of my days off so I'm gonna go try and fish one of the ponds by me. Hopefully it's not frozen. Let's see how it goes.
nice pick. Beautiful. what's up guys so i hope you liked the video uh, i just want to go over quick some of the baits that i'm using in the video and some of the stuff i use this time of year hopefully it's helpful and can help you guys catch fish in uh, february and march before our saltwater fishing starts so the first bait i want to talk about is called a jerk bait this is a shadow wrap by rapala basically these are casted out and they suspend in the water column and then you twitch your rod tip to get the bait to jerk through the water and then suspend. Usually wait like five to 10 seconds in between twitches and the slow moving bait is what's gonna get the fish to react because they're very lethargic because of the cold water. This is a great bait to use, but it's very difficult to use in uh, ponds with a lot of vegetation. The next bait is called a finesse jig. Uh, they're usually around a quarter of an ounce, basically acts like a bucktail, and they're usually dressed, you can dress them with something to impart a little more action. And these are basically gonna sit on the ground, and the jig head makes the hook sit upright. And the same concept, you're just gonna twitch this along the bottom and let it sit there. So very slow moving baits is what the fish want. And this works pretty decently, but also is hard to fish if you have a lot of uh, a lot of weeds in the pond that you're fishing. So these are all soft plastics. They are Texas rigged for weedless. This is actually the one that I'm using in the video. It's just a three a three inch bait with like a little whip tail. Anything very small. Uh, this is a Gary Yamamoto three inch. Uh, Senko that's Texas rigged. This is a little Ned rig by Z-Man that stands up straight. And this is a Gary Ma Yamamoto uh, little creature bait. I think it's like three and a half inches. But they're great for uh, the pond that I was fishing because there's a lot of vegetation there. And this is really the only thing you can fish. But any very small bait worked very slowly along the bottom is what you're gonna want this time of year. Uh, if you can get out on a day where the water, the air temperature is around 40 degrees, that's really gonna be your best shot at uh, catching fish. All right, so I hope you liked our video. I hope that some of the information on the baits was helpful. And uh, any day that you can get out there and fish is always a good day. Like and subscribe to our channel and follow us on Instagram at Bass Hole Surfcasting.